What's going on everybody? Scott here. Um, I know it says this is Retro Gaming Couch, but there's no couch. What's that all about? Um, we are kind of in the process of bringing the show back, uh, but in the meantime I did want to actually touch on something that we really wouldn't have the opportunity to uh, if we did do the whole couch setup, and that was play some retro PC games. Uh, there's a lot of really good classics on the PC, some that if you strictly only play consoles, uh, you may have missed in some way, shape, or form. Uh, I know that uh, what we're going to play today is Quake, as you can kind of see from the top banner. Um, this was, I think, on the N64 and on PlayStation, so, you know, obviously you did get the opportunity to play it. But we are going to play it on PC today, uh, just so we can get the, uh, you know, the old school feel of it. Now, just to warn you, I am cheating a little bit. Uh, we are using a PC engine called Quake Spasm, uh, and that's primarily because, you know, with PC games, the older they get, the less support they have, and the less compatibility they have with your operating system. Uh, since I am using Windows 10, the default, uh, the default engine that it was using was not exactly great uh, for what I was doing. Uh, it really was very limited and I had a hard time hooking it into my OBS program to record. Um, so Quick Spasm kind of eliminates a lot of that struggle. Uh, it's very easy to manipulate the, uh, the the window size, the resolution, all that stuff. So we're using that just for the sake of, you know, playing the game. Also, with Quake Spasm, I do get a better mouse look support. The game does have mouse look support by default, but it's very shoddy at best. Um, so yeah, it, it just it made more sense to use Quake Spasm for this, just so I can get the full, you know, use of my mouse. Uh, games like these really didn't require that back in the day, but we'll get into that later on. So the cool thing about Quake is that Quake actually did not have a menu system in the sense of, you know, picking your difficulty and picking what mission you had to play. When you first open up the game and you go into your single player, you actually start in this kind of podium here. And uh, if you go down this hallway, you got easy mode as the, uh, you know, the thing will say here. You get on here, you kind of see the bridge, it becomes a little more of an obstacle to get towards the uh, thing. And then you'll, you'll see that that's normal skill. And then over here, you know, they got zombies hanging off the walls, uh, lava underneath you, and that's to basically say, this is hard. And that's what we're going to do today. Because if you're going to play Quake, you better do it right. Uh, after you pick your difficulty, they all pretty much bring you back to the same screen. If you want to change your difficulty, you just head back that way. Um, and this next section actually picks your mission. Uh, you, you determine which mission you're in. This is the full version of Quake. So I do have all four missions available, but today we're just going to kind of scratch the surface a little bit. We're going to play the uh, original mission right here, and we're just going to dive right in. And uh, start right up. There we go. Got to get the secrets in. You know, they don't make games like this much anymore. You don't have a lot of this classic secret finding type gameplay. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Kind of go back to that. Um, but yeah, uh, games like these back in the day, uh, they didn't really have a lot of up and down movement as far as aiming because the auto aim was pretty intense. Uh, like especially like a game like Doom, if you basically were aiming in the general direction of a mob, uh, you were able to basically fire off a shot. Oh, pop it! Yeah! Oh, that's beautiful. I popped the move a little too early, but that's alright. Oh, dogs that way. Uh, enemies on the first level are fairly basic. Not very complicated. I can see that dog running across there. There we go, we got him. Oh, there's another dog right here. Woo. These dogs, you actually won't see much later on in the game. Um, probably because they felt like maybe it was just, uh, too easy of an enemy. We're gonna go ahead and use another secret here. We don't really need to, but I just want to do that. don't remember if there is another additional secret beyond it. Oh yeah, there it is. Ah, extra damage. Usually it's not a good idea to pop it this early, but I just wanted to go ahead and use it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead. 
up here. You should have an enemy right here. If you ever played Quake 3, I mean, this is basically quad damage. Ooh, I missed him. It's also that secret so you can get the uh, double shotgun. Always a pleasure. This mob right here. We're just gonna run down here, kill all these guys. We got a dog there. Uh, there's also a guy in this dark area right here. There we go. Ooh, he almost dropped his bag right in that sewage. Which I think it's supposed to be sewage. I really don't know what it actually is, but... Oh, uh, is that a secret? It is a secret. Oh, that's right. This kind of leads back to the beginning, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And we do need that health, so yeah, that'll work. Can I get back out? Yeah. that open. Uh, so we actually can go into this room. There's a way to do it through this ledge, but I had really bad luck in my test playthrough of doing that, so I'm just going to kind of cheat a little bit and use the lamp to get up here. And basically it's just like a mega health sort of thing, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're also going to use another secret here. We got the bio suit now, which will allow us to go into the sewage area here. And uh, we're just going to kind of take a quick little swim over here. Now we, uh, we got some armor. Uh, this would have been good health if I needed it. And of course it pops you right back in the beginning. So we just gotta run back to where we were. Bio suit's gonna run out. That's okay. Oh, that dog took a bullet for him. If I get an opportunity to show you guys, I kind of skipped over it, and I feel bad about that. Um, actually, yeah, you can see it right here. Yeah, if you look at the nail gun ammo, it's got the Nine Inch Nails logo, which is pretty cool. Um, that's primarily because Trent Reznor uh, did the sound effects for this game, if I remember correctly. And therefore, because of his uh, involvement... Oh, we missed a secret! I wonder which one we missed. Um, but yeah, because of his involvement, ultimately, they uh, kind of, you know, did a little nod to him. So you're shooting 9-inch nails out of your nail gun. Uh, we'll go ahead and do this one. Oh, dang it. I was kind of hoping I would get him to fight, but... <laughs> the mobs will fight each other, uh, if you can kind of provoke them to do so. Um, it doesn't always work, but... You know, if you're diligent, you can make them fight each other. We'll probably have more examples of that later on. Early on, you don't get enough variety of mobs to get them to fight each other. We're gonna actually go ahead. And I think it has to be... Yeah, it's gotta be two different types of mobs in order to uh, fight each other. I don't think if they're the same mob, they'll fight each other. So we still got enough... Uh... There we go. Oh, I forgot about this guy. There we go. It's funny, because this is close to where the end of the level would be. We're kind of playing this in a strange order. Here. Yeah, I figured that. They wouldn't let you through that door. That door has a pretty intense fight. Ooh. I was gonna trick you. I had a nose itch. That's not fair. I hope the recording quality comes out okay. Uh, I had some issues with OBS earlier. Uh, some, uh... But yeah, I had some issues with OBS earlier. And uh, I was kind of hoping I would be able to fix it. And I think I did. Some of the test recordings I did just before this worked out pretty nicely. Yeah, we're just going to create all sorts of chaos before we head back into that room. <laughs> Because if you're going to do it, do it right. Dang it. Yeah, yeah, he's bad. He's getting shot up and he's like, why? Why does it hurt so bad? There we go. We just finished.
Let's go. That's great. Oh, you're taking it. You're stupid. Dang it. Wow, he took a lot of hits. There we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab this armor again. Uh, and typically that armor would not be available to us until we shot that thing, but because we did that early uh, to kind of release all the mobs, uh, we had a we had an earlier opportunity. Let's see if we can get these guys to fight. And of course, he takes a bad shot. Oh man, they're actually getting me good. Yeah, that's a shame. Oh wow, they fought. I don't think I've ever actually seen them fight. That's interesting. Push the button, grab the key. Uh, I think there actually is a secret down there. Yeah, let's head on down. Since it's all the way back. <clears throat> I had to clear my throat. So we're just gonna try and run through this. I'm really surprised I didn't get hit. That's funny. Um, actually, I don't even think it was necessary for me to do this run, to be honest with you. Because this just takes me right to the room that I was already at. That was kind of slow of me, but... Yeah, he tried to trick me! I played this game one too many times. You can't do that to me. You can't do that to me. Uh, we're actually going to release the next set of mobs that you'll fight in this game. Which are these guys. Ooh, got me good on that one. Try to get them to fight. There we go. Alright, cool. It sounds like they're fighting. I can't find them there. Oh, there they are. Well, no, that's the one other guy. Wow, he actually killed the other guy? That's interesting. Oh, there you go. Yep. Wow, I like freaked myself out there. Oh man, he still got me. These guys actually aren't that hard um, once you understand how they work, but when you get into close quarters with them, they get pretty dangerous. There we go, he's down. Get this freaky looking thing. And that's it for that level. Uh, we probably missed a couple secrets, but that's fine. Uh, I think we got time for one more level, so we'll go ahead and do that. And this is a fun level. Uh, I don't know if I'll actually beat it, but we'll probably, uh, just set up some fights here. Get these guys going. Yeah, there we go. We got them all fighting. <laughs> Worth it. Let's see if we can get into... Oh, get me. He, he's still gonna come after me. There you go. He's taking care of me. Oh wow, he killed him in the back. Nice. And we're just gonna end that madness. Uh, ah! He's still alive! There we go. Grab some health. I think I left some health over here too. But, oh no, I'm actually I'm full in armor now. Oh, look at that! Expert grenade stuff right there. Right there, I tell ya. So take him out, and then this guy, we'll just pop a couple right up there. Oh! I'm out of grenades? Oh no, I, I picked up the shotgun and it auto-switched. It's like, oh no, I hope I, I got him not out of grenades. This gets pretty, pretty crazy around here. There's a guy right here, that's why I'm shooting around that corner. Um, I think there's a zombie below me somewhere. Oh wow, he's still alive. Let's get him. Oh, he did die, okay. Uh, I think there's also some zombies down this way, but we're not gonna head down that way just yet. Oh, I missed him. Oh, he didn't, he didn't die. Yeah, zombies won't die unless you blow them up in this game, so they're, they're kind of a nuisance. Yeah, see now, 
The other died behind him, but he's still alive. So that's kind of a shame. Ah, right above his head. Oh, there we go. That got it. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump down. Pick up this stuff. Uh, I do need to hurry a little bit. Let's see. Alright, cool. Now we're back here. We got some armor. Um, this room will freak you out. As soon as you pick it up, this thing will start coming down. But yeah, just shoot that thing and that'll get you, the, you know, in a safe spot. Otherwise, this thing will come all the way down and squish you. Some interesting little uh, traps early on. Oh, crap. I forgot about these guys. As many times as I've played this game, I always forget about those guys. Uh... Those guys Oh, he's hiding. Oh, man. That hurt me pretty good. Uh, and then just behind there is probably one of the more tougher mobs. Oh, man. His lightning is ridiculous. You get a gun version of it later on, which is pretty cool. He's a pain in the butt to kill. He takes a lot of damage. Oh god, he cut you right through that freaking thing. Oh, we got another one. Oh, he got me! <laughs> he got me. The son of a Buick. I think we're gonna actually end it here. Uh, if you liked the video, please click that thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, I'd rather you go ahead and click that thumbs down to be honest. Uh, subscribe for more comment or for more content. <laughs> Subscribe for more content, and then of course, last but most certainly not least, comment down below if you like this sort of thing. Uh, if you do want to see more Quake, let me know. We'll go ahead and make a whole little video series out of it. If you don't, that's cool too, man. Again, let me know down below. If there's any other PC classics you'd like me to tackle, I have a lot of PC games, uh, dating back even to the early 80s. Um, so if there's anything that you want to see on this channel, let me know. I probably have it. Uh, and until next time, guys, take care and have a good one. I think you did it. Wow, you got super lucky on that one. Alright, there you go. Now let's hope to god they don't die. Uh, roll it. Uh, well, hold on, find out. Oh. Fuck. It's too far down. <laughs> They're dead. <laughs> They're all dead. Shit. <laughs> There's the one lone blocker that's just like, I did my job. <laughs> <laughs>